Alright, first of all I want to thank everyone for subscribing to the channel and all the nice things you write, so thanks everyone. Um, I'm gonna try to show you guys uh, how I relict my recording king. Uh, I don't have a new guitar now to do it on, so I need to show you what I did. Uh, and if you want to donate to my pay PayPal, I have the link below. I will keep uh, uploading free lessons anyway, even if you don't don't donate. So, <laughs> thank you. So here we have the recording king. What I did first, I had a sanding machine to take off the poly lacquer. It was like this thick, crazy. That uh, will kill the tone for sure. So I used the sanding machine, and you need to go. Uh, back and forth like this, not on one spot all the time. And when you see the sawdust, you know the poly lacquer, when you sand it, it's white, it's cocaine, you know. Don't sniff that shit. <laughs> so use a mask if you're gonna do it. Uh, so then you see the yellow, and that's the sawdust, of course. Then you're gonna put the machine away and sand by hand so you don't go down to the wood too much. Then I sanded with a fine grit sandpaper. I took some nitrocellulosa and sprayed it with a can. Uh, uh, what else? Yeah, and then I let it dry after uh, three layers or so. And then I used a uh, wet sand to take off the orange peel kind of, you know. And then I did some more layers. I think I did seven layers of nitro total. Uh, and I used an amber tone burst. That's the why it's so kind of antique yellowish. Um, then I used a furniture wax. Uh, this kind of dense, dense, yeah. Uh, and then I used a knife for uh, food, you know, to scrape this here and also here and here. Some minor, you know. You can use keys as well, like for your home, the home keys. Uh, and then I took wax in here and here, as you see. And then I used nitrocellulosa over here. So this is actually not bare wood, it just look like it. And um, I also took the old bridge of, because it was made of, I don't know how you pronounce it, paddock, paddock. Uh, so then I bought this ebony one and it was actually a drop-in saddle then I took a pocket knife uh, and did this myself I don't recommend anyone to do it because it's hard <laughs> to do by hand you shouldn't do it I enlarged the sound hole with a Dremel tool uh, and uh, if you like me, you like the sound hole tuners they won't fit here very well if you enlarge the sound hole just so you know um, what else did I do? Yes, I took the, as you see, no logo, I sanded it off, then I used a uh, clear coat here, because I like no logo, and I'm gonna have a logo back here, recording king. I also made, used uh, sandpaper for the tuners to make them more satin finish. I like that, and I also did the top. Um, what else did I do? Yeah, I don't know what else to say. Amber um, tone, anyway. That's the the color to make it this kind of yellowish. And I like it. I like it when it looks like it been in a bar, you know, when you smoked a lot, <laughs> so it becomes dirty and. Yeah, I like it. I know a lot of people that hate that kind of stuff. Um, but I don't. I don't give a shit. It's my guitar, I do whatever I want with it. So, I like it. And also, I'm sure everyone knows this, but... <sighs> you can make a case. Make a case. Uh, humidifier like this. It's just a sponge. Uh, that you uh, drop into the water and drill a hole in this. I have mine here. I don't know what people usually have these, but I have mine down here. 
maybe some people have it here I don't know if it make a difference so that's how I relic my guitar I don't know what else to say if you want to know anything more just let me know and I'm gonna tell you I also changed the pick guard so yeah